Uh, I'd like to make uh, my uh, presentation about MGTOW's identity and vision. Uh, probably most of, them, most of the, uh, this part, identity and vision, uh, were explained by foreign minister. Therefore, probably some, some part is overlapped with foreign minister. Um, we think that uh, it is a quite uh, natural phenomenon for MGTOW uh, to appear in the international arena. Uh, MGTOW believes that uh, the rapidly changing global power structure and more functioning uh, world financial and economic system, uh, newly arising uh, complicated global challenges like uh, a cyber security threat and uh, ineffective global governance uh, require a new and innovative approach and partnership to provide pragmatic and constructive solutions to these challenges. This belief uh, leads to us uh, to the identify to identify the attributes and characters of MICTA and the rationale of the composition of its members. The five countries of MICTA are active players in the regional and global setting. They share universal values and have a substantial will and capability to contribute to addressing the challenges which the international community is facing today and will face tomorrow. Therefore, we members of MICTA define its identity as a new model of partnership for a global future. This new model of partnership is not necessarily standstill, exclusive, or closed. Rather, it is an evolving, open, inclusive, flexible, and informal entity pursuing the public goods for the benefits of all humankind. In this respect, we always welcome value-added and constructive engagement from other members of the international community, civil societies, and academic networks. We will reflect the voices of others in moving the process forward and forging ahead with collective wisdom, common solutions, mutual benefits, and prosperity. With such identity of MICTA, I will elaborate vision of MICTA as follows. First and foremost, MICTA is pursuing a catalyst or facilitator in implementing global governance reform. The effective and efficient global governance is a request of our time to address all the challenges of today and tomorrow. We will launch initiatives to reform the global governance. In doing so, MICTA will serve as a bridge between the developed and developing countries. Second, uh, MICTA will contribute to finding solutions to regional and global challenges of today. In this regard, we pursue to serve as a cross-regional consultative platform to complement the efforts of regionalism to find pragmatic and creative solutions to regional challenges. We have already addressed the issue of migration in Syria and Myanmar and Ebola outbreaks. And also we will increase the connectivity of regional networks and help each other to communicate with regional bodies. MICTA also contribute to the global issues of counterterrorism, as the foreign minister said, development cooperation, climate change, cyber threats, etc. We are committed to joining in national, regional, and global efforts to prevent and respond to terrorism such as IS, and will promote cooperation on cyberspace through a network of cybersecurity experts of MICTA countries. In the area of development cooperation, Australia and Korea hosted the first and second MICTA development cooperation workshop in 2014 and 2015, respectively, to strengthen cooperation focused on the post-2015 development agenda and financing for development processes. Also, we will actively participate in the process of conference of parties to the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC, to be held in Paris this December. Third, we will play the role of an agenda setter and assume a constructive role to identity, identify future challenges and find the solutions to them. We will make a joint effort for building norms, developing guidelines, sharing best practices, and forging collective responses to the new challenges. From above said, identity and vision of MICTA we can understand the reason why one of the most prominent contemporary scholars, Professor John Eikenberry of Princeton, 
has noted that in a world of deepening geopolitical rift, MIGTA gives the world order a new geopolitical heft. From the very first stage of MIGTA back in 2013, Korea has proactively contributed to the consolidation of MIGTA. Recently, Korea hosted the fifth foreign ministers meeting last month's May to reunite efforts to solidify its identity and its vision. Korea also will host a speakers meeting in Seoul next month to connect our efforts to the parliament's cooperation of the MIGTA member countries. In concluding, I sincerely thank you for your attention to my presentation and uh, I'd like to invite uh, uh, Najib, uh, Ambassador of Indonesia, to deliver Indonesia's perspective on how to promote MIGTA cooperation. Thank you.